explained the uh, path lifting property of uh, covering maps or in the particular example of the, uh, the exponential map from a helix to, to an annulus. Um, but uh, in this video, we, we're going to explain the, uh, the, the homotopy lifting property, which we, we also need for applications to uh, calculating fundamental groups and so on. So the idea is that this, uh, this orange band in the left, in the left-hand annulus, this is supposed to represent a, uh, a homotopy. Uh, it's a map, uh, a homotopy between two maps from the unit interval into the annulus. Uh, so this kind of outer edge here, you're supposed to think of as being one path. And then the inner edge is, uh, uh, is another path. And then the, the sort of body, the orange body is a kind of homotopy from this, uh, uh, from this outer path to the inner path. And then of course this is a, so the endpoints are moving in this example, it's an unpinned homotopy. Uh, that doesn't really make too much difference to the analysis that we're discussing here. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the idea is we want to, uh, we want to lift this whole homotopy up to uh, a, a, a map from the uh, unit square into the helix. Okay. Um, and of course if we just take a, like a small section of this square then we can do it because uh, you know, it's a covering map, and so you know, the uh, the part of the helix that lies above this little uh, little rectangle here is just a, uh, a bunch of disjoint copies of uh, of that rectangle, and we can just pick any one of them to use as a lift. Okay, so we're going to pick this one here, okay. uh, and then uh, as with the path lifting, we can uh, we can propagate this. We can uh, uh, carry on to taking doing a little like a little thin strip along the along the um, uh, along the edge of the of the uh, square. And uh, uh, so at each stage, you know, we've got a, uh, uh, we're, at, we're wanting to add in a new extra little section. Uh, and there's a uh, infinitely many possible copies of that uh, lying in the helix. And there's precisely one of them that links up with what we already did. So we pick the one that links up with what we already did. And we carry on all the way along uh, uh, this edge of the square here. Okay. And uh, <coughs> So what we've done here, I mean, if you just look at what's happening on the uh, on the outermost edge, yeah, that's just a path lifting of the original path, uh, and, uh, <coughs> yeah, and uh, but then we're not just lifting the the outer path, but also a little a short a small section of the homotopy. Um, and notice, you know, if we we want to prove this formally, uh, yeah, we've got to. Uh, um, there's a little bit to, to sort of check here. I mean, we, we're going to add in a little extra section. And uh, yeah, so we get to choose one of these uh, infinitely many copies. And I uh, see it's kind of easy to see that you can always pick uh, one of these copies that just uh, meshes up with what you already did at a, at a single point. But, uh, but actually there's, there's a kind of little short interval here. Uh, there's a short interval where this, uh, this patch overlaps with this patch. And we can make sure that our new lift uh, lines up at a, at a single, single point on this joint. Um, but uh, there is actually something to prove to check that the whole joint lines, lines up. I mean, it's kind of visually obvious here that the whole, whole joint is lining up uh, uh, along here. But uh, there is a little step in the formal proof to, to deal with that. Uh, but we can carry on like that. And then when, once we've done the whole of this uh, outermost strip, then we can start doing the next strip. Again, uh, so uh, yeah, we, we, we've got a whole bunch of choices of how to, uh, how to lift uh, this, this little patch here. And uh, there's precisely one of them that meshes up with what we already did. And again, you know, it's kind of, uh, in terms of the formal proof, it's easy to show that you can uh, choose which patch to do so that it matches up correctly, just at, like at one point. Uh, on the joint, but then you also need a little extra step in the proof to show that it doesn't just match up at one point, but uh, or, but it matches up correctly all the way along this little seam here. Um, once you've done that, yeah, then uh, then we want to go on to the next stage. Um, and for the next stage, again, it's it's just slightly more complicated. Again, we can uh, we've got uh, a bunch of these patches. We need to choose one, and we need to we can choose one which matches up correctly. So sort of a single point, say at this junction point here, then we need a separate argument to show that it matches up correctly uh, all the way along this joint here and also along this joint here. So there's uh, kind of two different joints that we have to have to deal with. Um, but uh, so that's again a little step in the formal proof, but uh, not a terribly hard one, but we do need to remember to do it. Yeah, and then uh, again, at each stage as we carry on like this, we've got adding a new patch and it has to, uh, 
uh, join up along two different edges with stuff that we've already done before. Yeah, and once once we've done the second strip, then we carry on uh, with another thin strip, another thin strip, and so on. Yeah, checking at each stage that uh, that everything is compatible with what we already did, and uh, at the end of the day, after we've done uh, you know, we've done a whole a bunch of different steps, we end up with a complete lift of the homotopy. Uh, into the uh, into this kind of spiral staircase thing. Uh, so the message of that is, you know, any homotopy, any map from the square uh, into the uh, annulus uh, can be lifted um, into uh, to give us a, a map into the helix. And uh, you know, there's actually an essentially unique way to do that. The only choice is, you know, we have to choose which which is one point at which to start. And once we've chosen uh, how to start, uh, you know, ch chosen the uh, lift say of this corner point then uh, we don't get any more choice everything else is forced 